to mention this because I feel like in general because I've seen this a few stuff that is referenced a lot in fucking Bergheim community subreddit and shit and a lot of other places I see a lot of people on there kind of complaining essentially about the whole entire scene being you know um drenched in people that are enjoying too much GHB on the dance floor and I've kind of felt like some of the complaints that people have about the GHB users is mostly to do with the people themselves being absolute cunts and less to do with the drugs they're taking because like I said previously in many many pods before when I went to Bergheim maybe last in maybe June of last year or something right um I remember um funny enough bumping into one of the guys who used to found who used to who used to be running the party called Crossbreed um the kink sort of like sex positive party we had here in the UK that unfortunately had to close down because the founder Kiwi um was a, accused of some you know some some egregious things so I remember being in Bergheim one time and I bumped into him and as we bumped into him I was talking to him a little bit you know saying how much I enjoyed his party and stuff and what he's doing to keep it up and shit there's this girl that we saw that looked like she was you know super super high or maybe fucked up and we're trying to help her and stuff and um along the night you know me and this other girl end up helping her get some water and stuff we realized that she wasn't fucked she wasn't harm she wasn't harmed anyway she just taking too much g and it's the first time i'd kind of seen the negative effects of it so she looked like a zombie a little bit spaced out and shit and it kind of obviously to the point where it made me and strangers concerned that we were kind of going out of way to help her and in the end she kind of figured it out and kind of scurried away but since then it felt like it's been ramping up now maybe it was during lockdown and maybe went crazy um and obviously it's a big drug anyway in the gay, in the gay scene because of what i've heard it kind of you know um releases your inhibitions it makes you super sexual and horny and shit um but it's also something that doesn't give you a serious hangover like maybe other drugs do and you obviously don't need much to kind of get high blah -de blah 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 and the high can sometimes last for quite long so a lot of people have been into it but obviously some people have been abusing it also and it's turned into a bit of an issue now i feel like a lot of people complaining about ghb some of the complaints i feel like are like a weird attempt to like moral posturing it's sort of like a i'm a better raver than you i don't need to be a zombie type of thing or you know it's a way to kind of um signal um that you are you know a better raver because you don't do any drugs whatsoever and you go to raves completely sober and shit i don't really know but i feel like the complaints are getting a little bit tired um i feel like again a bit repetitive and i kind of think it just is what it is like Bergheim is probably the best and worst represented representation of global club culture and maybe drug trends and shit because it's one of the best clubs in the world so because of that you're going to attract just about everybody from all corners of the world to come and dance and have a good time there even though they've got a very strict door policy and people usually go in there with good vibes you're probably going to have the odd dickhead and the odd cunt walking into Bergheim, right it doesn't matter what community they're from what race they are sexual orientation there's going to be some dickheads in there so i think if you have one of the po most popular clubs in the world attracting you know everybody across the world to go and go in there you're going to most likely have some dickheads and if you take give dickheads some drugs they're gonna maybe do dickhead things on dance floor. So I think that's just basically what it is. So people to kind of get on their high horse and act like GHB is any worse than any other drug people are taking on the dance floor is legitimately insane. And if it is that bad, just find other things to do. It really isn't that deep. I don't feel like it's not really that deep um, to people to be posting a million fucking questions about the drug all the time because at some point it kind of feels like are you like curious to try it yourself if you are try it yourself be a grown-up you know what I mean pull up your fucking big boy pants order some and see what happens in it but all this fucking moral posturing this virtue signaling people are doing about GHB bad people take it bad it's like all right cool we get it you're a better raver than all of us you don't need to kind of explore other things you can kind of stick to doing your fucking little sprinkles of you know mdma in your water and you're fine cool whatever enjoy yourself some people are maybe looking for other things to keep the party going and if this is one of the things they want to do and they want to explore and they want to do it in a safe and man you know manageable way let them do it um i'm a bit of a you know what do you call it free i'm a bit of a free speech absolutist in that way in, in terms of choice like just do what the fuck you want be responsible as an adult and if the cons and, and if the circ and if you kind of don't do it responsibly and there are some unfortunate consequences to your actions kind of you know accept the responsibility of dealing with them yourself as well don't kind of put that burden on anybody else that's the only thing i don't like about people that do those kind of drugs when you're kind of you're now forcing other people to kind of get involved in your nonsense and to look after you and stuff and take time away from enjoying themselves to kind of get you right that's obviously not fair but overall 
it's not really that big of a deal it kind of is what it is like people just need to calm the fuck down when it comes to fucking whining and playing like people's use of fucking ghp on the dance floor that's my point when it comes to that so 